Yeah, yeah. Lady Justice in the house. Keeping the balances of justice level with the light of liberty shining bright. You're so silly. What? Yeah, yeah. Right. School is in session. Today's lesson, the law of identity or the law to identify. Shining the light of liberty bright. Yeah, yeah. Press on. This gang member, Till Country Village. The guy on the opposite side, I never remember his name, but. I've never had a problem with him. What did he pull you over for? Speeding. Speeding. Always. I think this is the, the number 10, 10th time I've caught him right here in these um, like three parking lots for speeding. Were you coming down off that hill right there? Yeah. yeah. How fast did they say you were going? Uh, 45 and a 30. 35 and a 30? 45 and a 35. Oh, 45 and a 35. All right. Did that officer tell you his name? You remember what it was? No. This officer just seems like he turned up his spotlight. Nice to call people names, and I've told you this before too. It's not nice to call people names, and uh, you don't get to decide. It's not nice to call people names. That's how we identify people. No, you don't get to identify me unless I've committed a crime. You're right. Yeah, and I'm under lawful arrest. Right. Or right? Or no, not or detained. Detained. If you're detained, you can't lie about your name. If you're detained, you are required to lose your identity. No, I'm not. 3802 of the Texas Penal Code says that I am required to give you my name, birth date, and address once I've been lawfully arrested and asked by a peace officer. Arrested or detained? No. It says you're if you're detained, then you um, must not give a false or fictitious name. You're right. And it, yes, but that, you don't have to give a name. You'll come under as failure to identify. But you don't have to give a name if you're simply you're detained. detained. If you're lawfully detained, you need to read the code. I do read the code. No, you don't. Every single day no. Because I deal with that every single day. Obviously not. I you're do. not paying attention. I do. You, you I need do. to read it again. Okay, part A, 3802, says that a person must give their name, birth date, and address if they've been lawfully arrested and asked. No. Part A does not say anything about being detained. If you fail to give your name while you're detained or arrested, no. you will be arrested for failure to identify. No, if you've ever, have you ever done that? Yes, we have. You've arrested somebody yes. solely for that reason? Yes, we have. For not identifying? For not identifying themselves. When did you do that? Many, many occasions. Well, can you, um, I, can you point me towards the direction of those? I can impeach them. They went over there. Over where? Over there by the gas station. Over and by the over gas there station. By Another restaurant that's across the gas station. They didn't commit any crime. They didn't. They committed an offense. Oh, they committed an offense. Yes. And what often? And you were arresting them for yes, it. They did. You were arresting them. I'm talking about when they were simply detained. But you didn't have enough to arrest them. I did. Yeah, they failed to identify. Even though you didn't charge them with anything else. They were, identified, were charged for failure to identify. They and were only detained. that. Detained. And only that. It's in the, it's well, you would penal, lose that. It's in the penal code. I, will, I wouldn't. Yeah, you I would. To court many times. Yeah. You have to be under lawful arrest. Negative. Who is this officer? Uh, that is Officer Duran. Duran. Yeah. Okay. It's Officer Duran. That's my, my department. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm not surprised because your department is horrible. I beg to differ. We're a good department. You, no, great you're, department. Not a, you're not a great department. Artists. I've had nothing but problems. Really? Okay, not from all of you. But big problems, right? With especially Ochoa. And now you're telling me that you don't understand 3802. I do. No, you don't. No, you don't. 
You can ask my partner. He he knows it very well no, too. I'm, He's been an Jay officer longer than I have. He yeah. says I can ask you. At what time um, is somebody? It is not nice to call people names, so we're not going to start out like okay, that. I wanna, okay. I do want to tell you thank you for being out here for us, and 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 recording. I'm us definitely and, not here like against you. I'm no, not your no, enemy. But like I said, I do want to say thank you for that. I appreciate you. I thank really you. Do. I mean, I'm not here to like cause you harm or anything oh. like that. You know, if something happened to you, uh, that's definitely and that's why, that's why I'm saying thank you. not you something I'm for. Yeah. And I appreciate you for that. One hundred percent. Yeah. yeah One hundred percent. Do for you at night. You see me out here, you need some water or something, you let me know. Oh, I would never ask anybody for anything. Sometimes I do ask questions like what the stop was for. You know what I mean? It was for mean? speeding. Yeah, it was for speeding. I knew that. I mean, she told me. But, um, like, I do ask some questions sometimes when if I see you on a stop. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I do like answers. Yeah. Right? I feel that uh, you are kind of supposed to um, give some answers, you know, um, it's all public information, but Hey, he said, he said to ask you, so What's at that? what time is somebody required to give their identification in the state of Texas? At what time? When Under what circumstance? When they're, when they're lawfully being detained or when somebody asks you for it. So you're saying it's a crime for somebody who's simply detained. I, didn't, I just answered your question. No, you, I don't think you did. I just did. And you have a good night. Well, you're wrong. Okay. You have to be lawfully hey, arrested. I got to get going.